You see that rebel flag? It's hailing! God damn it! I'm home and I can't get out of my vehicle. This sucks. Okay, so the wife gave me one hour to work on the motor. Do a little video. So uh, what I'm going to do is I brought the wiring harness with me. And after doing some research on prices and whatnot of sensors, uh, they turns out they're pretty damn expensive. So um, rather than replace all of them, I'm going to see which ones will work with the wiring harness I have and which ones won't. And uh, we'll just do it that way and just... Uh, if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. We'll have to replace it. Um, so, yeah. I know that you can get cheaper ones on eBay. But uh, rather than... This motor was running. And it was a, it was a good running motor when it was wrecked. So, I, I just, you know... I'm just going gonna, gonna to keep the ones I have. If they work, they work. If they don't, then we'll cross that bridge. So, let's get started with the first couple of them. Okay, the first one right here is your map sensor, mass air, uh, oh god, I forgot what it is. It's an air pressure sensor, mass air pressure sensor. Anyway, checks out and actually all the wires are, are exactly the same. It's a uh, violet with a white tracer, green with an orange tracer, and a black and gray one on the outside. So that all worked out. So uh, we'll keep that sensor, move on to the next one. This I believe is the throttle position sensor. Let's check that one really quick. Let me see if I can set this set this up, my phone here. Alright, so the next one. Throttle position, it's a white sensor. It's pretty unmistakable. And here on my harness, I've got violet on the outside, they've got violet on the outside. Uh, they've got an orange with a black tracer on the inside. I've got the same and then Black and blue That works. So that posit that sensor will stay as well uh, Let's see the next one is down here. It's actually connected to your distributor. It's your camshaft position sensor and Give me Just a second here And it's the same style plug as the rest of these. It has the map and the... Uh... It has the map and... The TPS. Stay with me here, folks. I'm leaking all... I'm dripping gas again. God damn that thing. Alright, gray plug, gray plug. Here we go, camshaft position sensor. Alright, so it looks like I've got on this one here, I've got a tan and yellow. And a tan and yellow here. A darker one, black and blue, and uh, purple and white. So that all checks out. That sensor will stay as well. Uh-huh. Okay, I'm taking all these shits off. Cause that thing's a piece of shit. It's going, it's going bye bye. So those all, those all check out. Let's see. This is AC. I'm not using AC. I won't have AC. Don't need to check that. Here's the ground. All right. Let me show you these. So here's AC. I don't need that. Camshaft position sensor was back here. It's connected to your distributor. And they all have the same plug. See, there's the gray one. For the camshaft position sensor, here's your TPS. It's a white one. This one's kind of yellowed. And this one is a black one. This is your map sensor. So that's all those. And then over here, this is an important one here. I don't know where the plug is. Oh, here it is. Right there. Yep, that's it. That is your uh, IAC. Uh, I think it stands for... Uh, yet I can't remember um, anyway it stands for something there I want to just take note in this video that here is I just want to take note of some of this I believe this one will go these are your um, vacuum lines this one probably goes to your brake booster this one here goes to the valve cover and to the side right there 
this is not only for you, but this is also for me later. So, and there should be another one, which I will figure out in a second here. All right, I'm going to start disconnecting all these injectors and removing all the spark, pl spark plug wires. I'll show you when I'm done what happens. Okay, so there's two throttle cables on this bad boy. Here's one right here. It comes to the front of the motor and the one to the back of the motor. I only need the back of the motor uh, throttle cable. And so I just thought I'd show you how that comes off. So right here, there's a little tab. And you just get your screwdriver in there. One second. Like so. See it come out there? And then it'll come right out. So I don't need that anymore and it's cut anyway, so that's trash. Moving on. All right, just to show you, the, the other cable has uh, these two little deals here and it just comes in, comes in here and you just, sorry, comes in there, just comes in this little square hole and you just push those little bad boys in and pull that right out. This I will need, so I'm gonna put this aside and it luckily has not been cut. So it's still good. Okay, moving on. All right, and here is the, the other um, vacuum line. Not sure what that goes into, uh, but I'm sure it, can, it, it should be the same as the Jeep. So we'll get to that, get that figured out later on. But I just want to show everybody kind of what I'm, what I'm doing here and don't want to miss anything. So, All right, now that I broke a few, I'm going to show you how this works. This little red tab here, this is your injector. These are the old kind, so you probably won't have these, if you're smart. All right, let me see if I can get that to come up. These are so brittle, they're just falling apart. Okay, there's, it's up. And then you push, sorry. So you push this red piece up, and push down on this black tab here, and should pop off. Wasn't easy though, and be careful. I mean, on an old motor like this, these are very brittle, and these just broke all to hell pieces of shit luckily I'm getting new ones all right it looks like coolant temp is also the same coolant tip is temp is right here all right obviously I'm gonna have the alternator will be the same and if it's not I don't mind buying a new alternator just to be on the safe side little button right here push it out pull it out no big deal done that should be all the sensors. There should be a, oh no, there's there's the there's the temperature coolant right there. And this is intake temperature coolant or something like that, vice versa, whatever. So uh, yeah, let me finish getting the rest of these off and that'll be all the sensors. Uh, I do have a couple on the back to check, like the, uh, the cam, or uh, the crankshaft position sensor, which is right here runs to that side so we'll check that one and uh, we should be good to go and then I'm gonna go ahead and take off what I'm gonna do today is take this off the fuel rail so I can get those injectors out take off all these uh, all these uh, all this crap that's been cut all my wires that have been cut and I'm really curious to see what it looks like underneath the valve covers so I might go ahead and do that but no promises let me just get done as much as I can right now all right Okay, again, this is for my benefit, but here are my grounds, and I've got a big ground coming from the alternator over, and then a ground coming from this side of the wires, so that would be this bad boy right here from one side and then this one on the other so both those two grounds meet up right here on this bolt so that's for me I'm sure you guys I don't know y'all's might be different or might be the same anyway so I just want that to be documented so I'm gonna remove this as you can see this is the sheared off bracket from the uh, power steering pump so I'm gonna remove that because we're gonna put a different one on there anyway the Grand Cherokee one and it'll make it hug it a little a little closer so I'll have more clearance uh, so yeah, that's what I'm moving on to now as you can see I got the I Got the AC compressor off. It's right there. It's for sale on Craigslist. I will ship it email me pocket full shells at a or at gmail.com uh, Anyway Yeah, let's keep moving 
Okay, so here's this uh, AC bypass bracket that I bought. And here your, here's your eight, where your AC bracket sits. See, if, on these Dodges, this is a whole bracket piece right here. It, it houses your alternator bracket, your uh, idler pulley. Everything is all on the same deal here. And what I saw on YouTube today is, is one guy who started this project and then stopped in 2014, he just cut it off right here and then grinded it down, made it look smooth, so it just had this piece on it. Which I still may do, I don't know. I'm running out of time to, to return this thing, so I don't know. I'm, I have it, I might as well use it, right? So, I, th I think I only paid 30 bucks for it, so, oh well. Anyway, moving along. Okay, running out of time, but I went ahead and took off this whole assembly. See this? Here is how, is how it looks. AC sits on that side. And the uh, uh, alternator sits over here. And just putting all that to the side. Put all the bolts back right where they went. So I can keep track of them. And, uh... And away we go. I'm going to get in a little bit more done here before I have to wrap it up. But just want to make progress. I want these videos to keep going. So uh, if you don't really care, you know, that's fine. Um, this is what this is just what I'm doing. So thanks for watching. All right. Well, I ran out of time. I already said that. I know. <sighs> so, okay. Here's the plan as of now. All the sensors match up. I'm going to run them all. I don't care. So, uh, but I will buy a new coil. Obviously, I'll buy all new spark plug wires. Uh, nothing really concerns me right now. I think the wiring, I think I got that pretty much figured out. Uh, the one thing that does concern me just a little bit is the way these grounds look compared to where the way that my grounds look over there. So, um, uh, you know, I don't think it'll be a big problem, but it's just uh, something I'm going to... I may need to uh, like look up the FSM for this this truck. I don't know. I mean, I don't know. You guys tell me if I just ground those grounds out, you know, find a bolt, stick it on there, will it be all right or not? Uh, you know, you tell me. Uh, anyway, so okay, so coils new. I get that bracket off. I don't know what that does. Uh, okay, coils gonna be new. I'm gonna replace the water pump, obviously, because I don't know enough about the motor to to uh, trust it and I'm gonna do the timing chain timing chain water pump um, I've been really debating getting a brand new um, uh, oil pan but I may not throw a fresh coat of paint on here they paint these fresh from the factory that's what this is this, this stuff falling off here uh, underneath here there is a there's this plenum plate, and these these intakes are known for for that thing being a piece of crap. On HughesEngines.com or whatever, you can get a an aluminum plate that uh, works better. It's thicker. It's about 125 bucks. I really want to do that. Um, but what they said to to look for though, if I can get up here, is to push this down. And see if you can see any oil down in there, which I do not. You can't see anything, but just take my word for it. I don't see any oil or sledge in there, so I'm, I'm thinking this this particular motor's okay. Uh, so yeah, obviously all new all new gaskets everywhere. I'm gonna pull those heads off, check them for cracks, uh, and, and replace all the gaskets everywhere. Um, probably even gonna do the rear main seal. I don't know, maybe not. It doesn't really have a leak, so maybe I should just leave that one alone. Um, but definitely going to replace every, everything else. Uh, got to get a, a Jeep Grand Cherokee, um, what do you call it? Uh, mechanical fan to go here. Probably going to replace the dampening pulley. I don't know about this or not. I don't want to go too far. I mean, why if it was running right if I can just clean this stuff up I want it to look nice I want this to be a good project so other than that I don't think I'm gonna do too too go too terribly far other than really cleaning this thing up good 
um, and paint and all that. It's just going to look totally different. Going to get some some uh, paint for this POR 15. They make a they make a a manifold paint. It's gray or silver in color. Looks pretty good. I've seen it online. So I'm going to do that. And uh, and if anybody's in Billings, Montana, and you want this Dana 35, you come right over here, and it's yours for free. I don't care. Get it out of here. I will never need that thing again. Uh, so yeah, take it if you want it. Um, and it's not worth anything, so you can have it for free. Three seven three gears. Oh no 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 no. Uh uh three eleven. Yeah, three eleven gears. So worthless. Anyway, okay, I think that about wraps it up. Uh, next project, when I get over here, I'll start taking some more stuff off. I want to get these heads off, check them, check them for cracks. I'm really curious about that. Get these, this fuel rail off of here. Probably take. I'm probably gonna go ahead and take the intake off, and then cover this all up so that I can start working on cleaning some of these parts up, and maybe even go ahead and paint uh, and painting certain pieces. Um, so yeah, that's gonna be kind of just doing little bits as I go. So. Keep following me. We're we're making progress here. I'm not gonna stop doing videos just because, just because this isn't going in anytime soon. So, all right, guys. Um, so again, uh, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe. Yeah. Um, and uh, I, I've noticed my subscribers have been going up. I'm up to 23 now, so that's pretty cool. Um, again, can't thank Steve Rob enough. I'm sure he's he's. Uh, He's done enough for me, so always gonna thank that guy. Uh, I got some. I need. I have some ideas for some other videos that are gonna be coming up soon, so just stay tuned for those. Um, anyway, like, subscribe, comment. See you guys later. Let me know about that. Those grounds. Uh, it, does it really matter specifically where the grounds go, or can I kind of tie them in where where they where it looks like they fit? Um, let me know.